show me how to get to know someone like you someone like hey what's up guys my name is Drupal Doors welcome in um I say that as welcome in because typically I'm used to being a Twitch streamer and not a YouTube video maker. Um, but I've been telling you guys that I will be making some sort of tutorial for you guys. So you guys can start doing stuff like this. You know, a little bit of this and that. I mean, it's kind of cool, you know. When you got a bunch of shit going on to entertain the audience when your gameplay is not perfect. Whether you're playing Counter-Strike, Halo, Destiny anything like that um so this is going to be a very raw unedited version of stuff that i pull off in obs studio i'm currently using obs classic to capture what i'm doing um a couple things that you guys are going to need is at least a two monitor setup this does not work if you are using one monitor and you got to get used to some hotkeys guys you're going to want to be able to switch stuff very instantaneously while you're in the middle of the game, instead of backing out, to go to OBS Studio to see what you're doing. Now, a lot of different features can be edited while you're doing this live, and it gives the audience a good feeling that you put a lot of work in. And it's because you do, because you're trying to go, you know, the next step. Look, the secrets, they're being revealed. Man. Now everything just seems so simple now, doesn't it? Now for those of you who don't know what's going on, I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to make a scene like this. This is pure trickery. So we're going to go ahead and make a new scene. Alright, so see how everything you do in this page, you have to be careful or people are going to see that this is really just an illusion. So, if you're ever going to be editing anything, sure you can do studio mode, but you don't want to be doing that in the middle of this display capture. There, I said it. You do it with the display capture. So, if you're going to be editing anything, you need to make sure that you're not running the display capture. So, let's go to one of these. This is just a gift that I have running back. It's just a bunch of gifts. The button in the middle of this, then you can actually click on the studio mode, you can make your new scene, everything like that. But it's not going to ruin the output of what you're playing with on OBS Classic. So let's go ahead and make a new scene. Chirpy effect, everybody thinks you're tripping on acid when you come in. So what you're going to be doing, you're going to be adding yourself as your video capture. Now, this is going to work if you have a green screen. You can't have anything behind you, you can't have... Um, you know, you can't have a wall that's not green behind you because you need to be able to have OBS letting you be able to overlay yourself. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So what you're going to be doing is actually adding your own display capture. So, on one screen you might have the game. On the other screen you have OBS. This is how I do it. I'll put a separate like little input of what my setup looks like um, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But what you're going to be doing is you're going to be displaying the same screen that you have OBS on at all times. You never want to put OBS behind anything. You never want to be able to um, have anything caught in display capture. So we're going to add a display capture. I already have it as display capture, I believe, for the first one. And you see, this is that like little thing that everybody was like, wow, this looks really bad. I probably shouldn't have this. But with layers, you can basically move it down one you can either drag it down or you can press control up or down i'll move your scene and i'll do it in layers similar to photoshop flash um anything like that that uses layers to draw now one tool that a lot of streamers don't realize that saves you a lot of time if you hold down the alt key on your keyboard and you click any one of the corners you can actually crop what you're playing with so what i do i crop i crop all the borders out of obs and there we have it. You're starting to see something cool here. You're like, um... What? What is that? This is Jupiter's infinitely going on to the infinite abyss. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to take the display capture, and you're going to stretch it around. You can make yourself wide, anything like that. Now, if you're holding shift, it'll give you a free transform, so you can basically mess around with that however you see fit. 
Now, if you let go of shift, everything is going to put everything to scale. So what I typically do is I kind of see what's going to look best. Now, with OBS Classic, what you're going to be looking at is anytime you switch to this scene, like let's say if I go to this scene and I come back, the display capture is going to go ahead and add a big red box for the crop around me. There's one thing that I do to circumvent that. What I do, I call it the out of area text box. Now what I do is I create anything that's editable and put it outside of the scene. So let's add like a, a text and you'll see like a little red box. You see this like little red box right here? Do you see that? I just drag it out to the side right here. And now anytime I switch back, because that's the first layer on the top, it's not going to show up in the stream and show those little red boxes like it typically would if one of those editable layers are on the top when you switch to it. This right here does not look good. So we put that out of area text box back on top and we make sure that stays on top forever. Now, some of you guys noticed that sometimes I put a GIF in there. Let me turn off the display capture really quick so it doesn't bug you guys as I do this. What we're going to do is we're going to add image. I've already selected one right over here, so literally just add an image. And what you're going to do, you're going to see that if I put it over me, it's going to cover everything up. First thing we need to do, we make sure the text box is on the first layer. And we're going to go through the property, or we're actually going to go through the filters of this. And we're going to add something called dun, 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 color correction. Now this is what we use for the opacity, and we turn that shit down. Excuse my French, we turn it down. Maybe I should censor myself. This is going on YouTube. Bruh. Alright, so I typically pick somewhere around like, let's say 25. Now this lets color pass through. Now, when you put the actual camera above the image, it'll make it look clear. It doesn't really look like we skewed the actual image too much when we add the display capture. And there you have a very trippy effect. Now what you can do, you can stack these images. And you can just turn these features on and off. The actual effect itself is through OBS Classic, and it's by using Display Capture. You can do this with OBS Classic or Studio, however it works. Um, and if I have any errors in my speech or anything like that, I just woke up, got some coffee, things like that. But uh, these things look really cool. It's a great way to entertain your audience in between, you know, waiting game lobbies. It's really good to be able to have, you know, just something that upgrades the actual video quality of your stream. Besides running it at 1080p, 6 frames a second, it's just something nice to look at. Um, but really, guys, there's a lot of things you can do with OBS. This is a very quick video. Um, I just wanted to put it out there so you guys can kind of see um, some fun stuff you can do with it. Just be careful because if you accidentally click on any of these scenes while the display capture is active, you just got the red boxes again. You know, it doesn't really look that nice. So make sure you always have that text box selected as you switch to it, and nobody will be the wiser. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So guys, it's literally that easy. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I might be streaming whenever I can. Um, but this is uh, twitch.tv slash I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, you guys have an amazing day.